David Glenna, the study involved giving patients opioids and over-the-counter medications to ease their pain. Now, this is what they discovered. What we're seeing from studies such as this is despite people thinking that opiates are a stronger or a better pain medication, it's not really the case when done in a randomized controlled trial. The study looked at more than 400 individuals between the ages of 21 and 64 who came to the emergency department with an injury to their extremities such as a broken arm. One group of patients were given an opioid and acetaminophen combination for pain relief. The other group were not given opioids but rather a combination of ibuprofen and acetaminophen. Researchers found that after two hours, patients in both groups reported the same reduction in pain. Dr. Fertel says a large number of emergency department visits involve pain, so it's important for doctors to not only be able to help people manage their pain, but to do so safely. And opioids do not come without risks. Dr. Fertel says opioids can be addictive in nature and that oftentimes addiction starts with a legitimate prescription from a doctor. We now know that even one prescription, even an index prescription, could potentially cause harm and can put someone on the pathway to addiction. Remember, it's also important to manage pain, but it's also important for people to be realistic about their pain levels. You know, this, this is a crisis, and, and opioids work for short-term pain. That's what we want them to. And, and, you know, for longer chronic pain, you should really talk to your doctor about alternatives before going to opioids. Glenda, Dave, back to you. All right, doctor, so when are opioids typically prescribed? Yeah, so, you know, opioids are often used, like I said, for short-term pain relief following surgery or an injury. They're not the right choice for nerve pain, fibromyalgia, migraines, chronic back pain, or arthritis, because they don't relieve pain any better than over-the-counter medications, as you see in the study. All right.